Have you ever wondered how we recorded earthquakes here in the 1800s? So how did we estimate the location and magnitude of earthquakes before we had instrumentation? We would look at journals and newspaper articles of the time and we would use the descriptions there to estimate the magnitude, distance and duration of those earthquakes. So in the spirit of Friday the 13th. Allow me to read an excerpt from one of these articles. We have been favoured with the following particulars of the shock of an earthquake sensibly experienced at Flinders Island on the 18th of August last. It cannot be uninteresting to you to be informed that there was distinctly felt in every house in this settlement last night, about half past 11 o'clock, a slight shock of an earthquake. The sound which seemed to travel centrally and if at all laterally in a southeast direction lasted for perhaps two seconds and the trepidation rather longer. It may be worthwhile to compare these facts with observations made in Van Diemen's land or elsewhere, should the same agency have been manifested anywhere in our vicinity. 